<laughs> oh my god, I think the top of my head is sweating. Hey, welcome back to Anime Scoville Reviews. And today, I'm here to review Magical Shopping Arcade Abinabashi. And to do that, I'm going to be fueled by Da Bomb, the final answer. Quest for the hottest ends here. So, I can't convey the sense of dread I have in applying this to my, uh, body, to my tung, I'm probably gonna die. It comes with this little, like, you, you should apply makeup with this kind of thing. Oh, it's probably way too much. It, as you can see, I'm a big wuss wuss, and, uh, I'm not putting, like, whole spoon, just enough to probably kill me. All right, so, let's we'll put this over here for a reminder about what killed me. Bottoms up. Wow. Okay. So, Magical Shopping Arcade up in Abashi is about these two kids who live in Osaka, and their names are Army and Sashi or whatever. And in this town, there's these statues positioned perfectly around the city. And actually draws over a giant rune drawn thousands of years ago or whatever. Uh, <laughs> and one day while the grandpa of this building that has a statue on is being careless, he's trying to swat a cat away, knocks over the statue, falls and breaks. <sighs> the kids get pulled into another universe. And portal, it's crazy. So Every episode, they're basically waking up in a different reality where they run into all the same people they know, but it's an alternate version of their world with a different theme. Like, this one is like they're gangsters. <laughs> Noir setting. And, oh my God. Uh, and they keep having a, a, an objective to get through, to get out of that world to try to go back home. And they keep saying... To go, go back, to go back home, all you need to do is wish it. So they hold hands, and they think of home, but the boy keeps thinking of something else. So they go back to a different world and encounter similar events. So every show of this seems crazy and disconnected. It's just like, oh, what crazy... My throat hurts so much. What crazy world can they go to next? And then on the fourth part of this all in the fourth disc that I watched, it starts to tie together. There's this character that also keeps reoccurring and disappearing off screen pretty quick, but they pull him aside. Turns out he knows the answer to well, all that's going on, and he's omnio-mystic. It's what this the rest of the show focuses on. The boy starts training to become one, and turns out that this is why everything is the way it is. And it's actually goes from this kind of mostly cheery, still pretty adult theme show, into a very dark subplot about that character's original reality when he was an omnio mystic. And I don't want to touch my eyes, I don't want to burn myself by accident. Uh, so the the kid trains under him, and I if I say anymore it'll spoil too much of the plot. And the animation, if you've ever seen Pooley Cooley, is very much that. It's just an, it's Gainax Pooley Cooley animation. So you can expect a cool soundtrack to go with it. It feels kind of like a zany Pooley Cooley plot at the start, but unlike Pooley Cooley, it all ties together in the end and actually kind of makes sense. Uh, 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 I would absolutely watch it again. I like it almost just as much, if not more, than Pooley Cooley. And... Uh, uh, the bomb, final answer, makes me absolutely want to die. I feel like I'm dying. I'm sad. I'm scared still. Everything burns. Every... Uh, and all these DVD cases come with these cute little, they're like set up like magazines. It's adorable. I love the amount of detail and love you can tell they put in this show. But don't eat this. Don't put it on anything. It sucks. It's terrible, and I'm gonna eat ice cream because I'm a web. 
Nice. That's it for me. This is the DVD's extra section. I'm so sad. I just got divorced. I lost the kids. I lost his home. Even his childhood dog died. It hurts so much. <laughs>